I don't know. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm the one buying all the stuff. This ain't right. What is up guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be putting the Amazon special light bar on the Jeep. If you watch my other Amazon light bar video, $26 one, man, it's awesome. I still love it, it's been on there for a year or two. I did that video back then, it's still awesome. All right, check it out. I prefer you watch the whole video, but I know there's people that only want certain parts of the video. So, if you wanna know the actual product specs, where to get it, how much it costs, that's gonna happen right now. If you want the install video, how to install it and stuff, that'll happen right around here, save you some time. If you want to see just the final results after we've installed it, what it looks like, what it does, that's gonna happen at this time. And if you would like a special tech tip of how I keep my light bars so crispy, clean, and clear, and non-yellow, I'll have that tip at the end. Don't want to waste your time. This big boy right here is about to go on top. I went with the curve to try it out. You can get the straight as well. So we'll see. If I don't like it, I'll change it. With that, you'll get a hardware kit and a wiring harness, which has one of these cheapy little uh, button doodads here. And I'm going to change the wiring harness over to this Nylite set. I like it better. You can get that on Amazon as well. It's just N-I-L-I-G-H-T. It has the nice rocker switch in there. And they let you pick what you get on your rocker switch. But as you can see, this one is for the LED light bar. Lastly, you'll need to get you a set of these. It's the brackets to hold the light bar on the Jeep JK 2007-2018. You can get them anywhere. <laughs> Remember the garage urinal right here that we made on this channel? Oh, I use it all the time. I love it. Woo! Can't beat the garage urinal. Yeah! The specs as far as the light bar goes itself. The light bar is a 52 inch curved light bar. It will cost you $88 on Amazon. It is 500 watts with fisheye 4D little lens things, which I'll try to put a picture right there. It comes with an 8 foot harness and it registers in at a whopping 50,000 lumens and it has spot and flood combo lights in it. The harness that I showed you is the Nylite, product number 10011W, rings in at 1259, and you'll love it. It has two leads, which you can do multiple lights, and it has a 12 foot harness. And don't forget about your lighted button, as you can see here, installed. All right, no, for real, make sure you subscribe and check back. I've got all kinds of Jeep videos on here. Just about everything done to it is on my channel, and I've got a lot more coming. There's a huge Jeep pile over here of Jeep stuff that has to go on. While you're on Amazon, you, you got to try this. Mike's Hot Honey, it's on there. Pick you one up. Man, oh man, try it on fried chicken. Get you some Chick-fil-A nuggets or some Kentucky Fried Chicken or something. Holy cow. The sweet heat, so good. Yeah. Here is the Jeep we're going to be putting the light bar on today. Oh man, just started the rain. Installing these here, I'm going to take off these two and these three. They give you a they give you a little foam thing that you install on it before so it doesn't scratch up your paint. T40 Torx gets these off. It's really windy, that sucks. But here's the deal, I'm gonna to try to set the light bar up there. I'm gonna put the lighting kit going toward the battery because it has a battery and a relay on it and then it shoots off of the switch. So wires coming down on that side makes the most sense. I'm gonna set it in these cradles first, but I'm gonna put it back here and seat it back more in those holes. give you a little look at it. Uh, one of the things I was nervous about is the Jeep's got a square body. I like to match body lines. Usually if you don't match your body lines, you get a little uh, ricey. So I was nervous about the curved bar, but, but these brackets thankfully had mounting spots here, here, and all the way back here. And if you look, 
the Jeep does have a little bit of a curve to it and that just has a little bit of a curve too so it's not too bad that it's sunk back in there which came out to look pretty nice I gotta tell you, I'm pretty happy about that because I'll do a little welding to get this back in here and shorten this all up. Because I've seen them installed out here before and you get this big gap and it's horrible. So, I'm happy about it. People say, oh, what's with the gun stickers? Uh, because that's my hobby and my passion. And make sure you check back or subscribe because I got a lot more videos on guns coming up. New in the collection and I'm going to be modding all of these right here. So check back, check back. Time to put our switch in. Best way to do this, wrap this up and get it real nice and skinny. Then we will tape that to a guide wire. Make sure you get the end real good. Now you got a grommet right here. You pop that grommet and start feeding that bad boy right down in there. inside the car. Pull off this panel right here on the side. Pop that off. There we go. And I'm looking for my wire to come through there. Voila! So I'm going to take that and I'm going to feed it up the side here. Cut a hole for the switch. Wire. My other light bar switch is right here. I'm gonna put this one right here, and it'll have an option of putting that for something else in the future. Everybody needs a white pencil. Gotta get you one, bro. Here we go, my friend. Now this part you gotta do before the wife comes out or she'll flip the fuck out. I like these nylite kits so much, they got everything's just diagrammed right out. I'll just take my switch, hook it right up how it tells me to. Uh, make sure you do not hook it up to the battery before you do your switch, because you got them all bundled up in your tape and you're going to throw your positive and your negative right into each other. <laughs> like we are never there. The rest of this is real easy. All we got to do is run this over to the battery. It's got an inline fuse. Then we got to mount this relay somewhere. And then we take this up to our light bar, which this one as well has another tube port. So I can take this to the light bar or to some other lights or whatever. I'm probably just going to cap these off because that light bar is so powerful. I'm not going to run two sets of lights off this one switch. The way I like to do this is I like to keep my wires nice and straight, clean, run it to a, the pattern where I know where I want it. I'll f go ahead and fix everything and then I'll come back tidy it up. <laughs> These birds are going nuts, bruh. I started to fish it and I was like, eh, why don't I just lift up this cow? So I'll run it in through here, up, under the cow. I like to do things right. And I was going to go put these on and heat shrink them and everything. But I don't have any heat shrink that big. So for the video, and for right now, I'm just going to have to use these. And I'll have to go get bigger heat shrink to make sure those are sealed up nice and tight like they should be. Birds are messing with me, bro. Watch this. Now it's all of our favorite time. It's time to go to Zip Tie Town. Let me hook it up to the battery, get it cleaned up, and we'll see what she looks like. Woo! <laughs> Woo! 
All right, it's getting dark. I'll give you one last look at the light bar. Because it won't be light next time. There's the switches. Ready? I got both my light bars. Let's start her up. Let's see what she'll do. All right, just so you know, this is just the headlights. And we'll go just factory brights. All right? Here's that little light bar. It does really good. Oh man, it does really good, but it uh, doesn't have real long range. So I'll turn that back off. We got the brights on still. Now we're gonna go with the big light bar. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Holy hell! Whoa! Oh man! That will do both light bars. Jesus, look at this. Oh man, this is amazing. Turn those off for a minute. That's just the brights. That's brights versus what was on. Oh my God. Here we go again. Check it out. There's no brights. There's brights. Here comes the big light bar. Whoa, holy crap. And a little light bar with it. It's like really uh, foggy. I'm in here yelling and stuff. I got my my windshield all fogged up. But it is unbelievable. Jesus, look at this. I uh, had an awesome viewer comment. The guy said, "Hey, just to let you know, get you some of the rust oleum that has a UV block, the clear stuff. Spray it on there." Every year or whatever, use fingernail polish, wipe it off, and redo it. It'll keep it clear. So that right there has about a six to eight month old coating on it. Good comment, man. It helps. All right, guys. That's all I have for today. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, check the people on the bottom of my channel called Bad Mofos. Hours and hours of fun. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Later. Peace.